Hello students, once again welcome to Bolan Art Academy. Today students, now we, we are going to see one more type of condensation reaction that is called as Stobe condensation reaction. Now in this condensation reaction students, aldehyde or ketones react with the diethyl succinate which is a type of ester. In presence of stronger base like sodium ethoxide to give half ester of alkylidine or aldehyde succinic acid. They are also called as substituted etaconic acid that is the common name. Now here students we have aldehyde or ketones instead of that. Now here the ester that is diethyl succinate which is very important compound in the stock condensation reaction students. In presence of sodium ethoxide as a base at low temperature that is 10 degrees Celsius and it will take 4 to 7 days to take the reaction and it will form alkylidine succinic acid. Here we have given salt. When you hydrolyze this salt you will get alkylidine succinic acid and ethanol. Okay students this is the stop condensation reaction. Now students we are going to see the mechanism of stop condensation reaction. Now in this mechanism students there is so four steps are there. Now first step is students there is a formation of enolate ion. Now students in presence of base this is the base the succinic ester eliminate a proton one of the proton from the succinate succinic ester it will be eliminated and it will form the carbanion which is resonance and one form enolate ion. This is the carbanion students after the resonance when takes place it will form the enolate ion by the elimination of ethanol. Okay students, once the formation of enolate ion takes place, now what happens to students in second step, there is an intermolecular nucleophilic addition reaction. Now students intermolecular, now this is the carbanion students, it will, there is an intermolecular nucleophilic addition reaction will take place of the carbonyl group of the aldehyde. This is the aldehyde students. Now what happens, it is a, a carbanion, there is a nucleophilic addition to the carbonyl group of the aldehyde ketones. Now once they will add students it will form oxyanions. Now you will see here students how it is attacking on the oxygen and this bond is shifted to here. And now what happens students oxygen will get negative ion. That is why it is called as oxyanion. Now once the oxyanion will form students what happens students in oxyanion the intramolecular nucleophilic addition will take place. In the oxyanion this is the oxyanion students. The oxygen atom is closely packed with the carbonyl group of the second ester group. In same students, there is an intramolecular nucleophilic addition will take place and it will form this type of cyclic compound. Now in presence of base students, it will form lactone. See the structure of the lactone students. The carbon carbonyl group again reappear. Understanding students. Now what happens students? This lactone will go base catalyzed ring opening of the lactone. Now lactone undergoes the base catalyzed ring opening to give half ester alkylidine succinic acid. Now here students lactone is there in presence of base it will eliminate ethanol and it will form the this type of compound when this will be resonance will take place it will form the unsaturated acid that is called alkylidine succinic acid before that it will form it will this is the sodium salt of succinic acid students when the hydrolysis will take place it will form the alkylidine succinic acid. Now students we are going to see the application of this reaction. Now when it comes to the application students here the first application is preparation of dimethyl etaconic acid. Now students, if you want to prepare dimethyl etaconic acid, acetone will combine with diethyl succinate in presence of base that is sodium ethoxide is very important base. At low temperature that is 10 degrees Celsius, 4 to 7 days takes place to take the reaction and there is elimination of ethanol. What happens students? It will form this type of unsaturated compound, sodium salt of unsaturated compound. When hydrolysis, uh, acid hydrolysis will take place students, there is a formation of dimethyl etaconic acid. Understanding students, very important compound is student, dimethyl etaconic acid. Now second preparation students preparation of phenyl etaconic acid. Now here students we are going to prepare phenyl etaconic acid for that raw material benzaldehyde react with diethyl succinate in presence of base sodium ethoxide at low temperature 4 to 7 days. Now there is elimination of ethanol and what happens students there is addition reaction will take place condensation reaction is taking place here between benzaldehyde and diethyl succinate and when the acid hydrolysis will take place in presence of there is a formation of phenyl etaconic acid. This is phenyl etaconic acid very important compound students which is used in the drugs formation now we are going to see the third application students preparation of diphenyl etaconic acid for diphenyl etaconic acid students here we are using benzophenol both the side we have benzene group now what happens there is a uh, diethyl succinate students in presence of sodium ethoxide at low temperature again there is a stop condensation reaction will take place students they will condense and when, when you hydrolyze students in presence of water acidic water there is elimination of ethanol NaOH and you are getting what diphenyl etaconic acid so this is very important preparation students now we are going to see the prepare the preparation of cycloalkylidine succinic acid here students this is the cyclo 
hexalidin ketaconic acid now for that students you have to require cyclic ketone this is cyclohexanone cyclohexanone then react with diethyl succinate students ester in presence of sodium ethoxide as a base at low temperature there is elimination of alcohol and the stop condensation will take place students like this the, when the condensation will it will form the sodium salt now uh, when you hydrolyze this salt students acidic water you get cyclohexalidin ketaconic acid by the elimination of alcohol and NaCl now students fifth preparation students now we are going to see the preparation of gamma keto pentanoic acid for that students we are going to use acetaldehyde and diethyl succinate in presence of sodium ethoxide low temperature again there is elimination of ethanol stop condensation takes place now when you brominate in presence of carbon tetrachloride students this type of compound is you are getting in presence of even in heat, heat students this compound in presence of barium sulfate there is elimination of HBr and NaBr now what happens students when you hydrolyze students hydrolysis will take place it will form this type of compound when this type of compound will got the resonancing structure like this when you heat this compound students there is elimination of carbon dioxide from here and you are getting this is the gamma keto pentonic acid because students here at gamma position there is a keto group is there that is why it is called as gamma keto pentanoic acid now students six preparation students we are going to prepare the methyl tetralone for that students what happens this is unsaturated acid students when you heat in presence of HIE what happens students there is a addition reaction that again will take place ok students and this is from the compound when you heat this compound there is elimination of carbon dioxide from here and you are getting 4 methyl tetralone which is very important compound students now students last preparation we are going to see that is preparation of 4 methyl 1 naphthol now for that students acetophenone when react with diethyl succinate in presence of sodium ethoxide there is elimination of ethanol and there is a formation of sodium salt of compound this sodium salt of compound students in presence of NH and HCl will give you acid now unsaturated acid with this benzene group now what happens students intramolecular adi uh, intramolecular addition reaction will take place and it will form the compound like this in presence of acetic anhydride it will form this compound when you heat this compound students there is a elimination of carbon dioxide from here and you are getting the 4 methyl naphthol so this is very important compound students we have seen so many application of this stop condensation which is very important if you like my video students please subscribe it thank you thank you very much